the previous video we set up a disk encryption with a BitLocker policy. In this video we're gonna uh, install Microsoft 365 apps, Outlook, Word, Excel, Excel and all those. And we do that by going apps and let's choose by platform Windows. And we only have our two applications that we imported from the Microsoft Store for Business here. So let's hit add. And we could package uh, 365 apps as a Win32 or even as an MSI, but Microsoft have already done it here, Microsoft 365 apps for us. It's actually not packaged and we're coming a bit behind what this actually is. So Windows 365 apps, perfect, we select that. Let's put the name Microsoft 365 apps. I'm just going to go with simple English, so I put EN. And the description, let's change that as well. And we can do it. Why not bold? This is only visible in um, Company Portal. And this is usually an app that you don't put in Company Portal, depending which apps you actually add. So category, all that's fine. We can go next. And we get a lot for free from Microsoft, the logo and everything. So let's go next. Here comes the, um, the tool how to configure it. So we can, if you already had, have an XML data from previous, you can add that, but definitely not needed. You can keep the configuration designer here and just select which apps do you want. I'm not a big fan of Access, uh, not Publisher either. Uh, let's keep Teams and Words and we are good there. Then if we needed the project or visio, not going to need that here. I always go with 64-bit. I have seen no reason today to do 32-bit. There are some add-ins, but they are probably too old if they only exist in 32-bit. Update channel. So I'm going to go with monthly enterprise. So they are released more seldom. And we can see that if we select the monthly enterprise uh, channel and we want to show a specific version, and we show here you're going to see 2205. I record this in last day of July, so 07, near 08, and we can only get the, the May version. If we change to a current channel and set specific, we can get the June. But I'll go with the monthly and update once a month. And you could put so always the latest, but I like to control the version in order that you I know what's out there. If there is a new feature in Outlook or like, then you can send out the communication before pushing it. So let's see, use share computer activation. That's good for shared computer like Citrix and stuff. I prefer to have this no, you can have it as yes too. Uh, let's accept on behalf of the user to keep it silent. And I'm not a big fan of the search uh, being there, so we can skip that. We could add a lot of other languages. Uh, I wouldn't mind Swedish on mine actually, but uh, to keep the package uh, smaller, um, I go with only English. So we can go next after that. And now we're ready. I'm gonna assign this to all devices. I think it's something everyone should have, and if not, if a few don't, we can exclude also with the filter and stuff. So go next. So now we have created the Office package, and it's going to get its own app ID. We see that up here. This is a bit special. This app you saw you couldn't, like in a Win32 app, do dependency or something, and that's because this is not an app that Microsoft have packaged magically for us or alike. What Microsoft does is just create the configuration policy, a CSP, configuration service policy. And what it actually does is that it create this XML uh, data into the registry of the machine and put the URL where to download the setup.exe that's used for uh, installing 365 apps. And we're going to look at exactly what that looks like on the client. Okay, now we waited a bit of time and one machine have picked this up. So install pending. This machine is trying to install it. So let's take a look on that machine. If we go to the registry, and that's what I meant with that, it's not really a package where you download the files from the server. And here I'm under Office um, CSP configuration service provider. I will put the link registry path in the description. 
Under here we have a unique um, UI and here we have all our settings that we configured earlier. So instead of using an XML file, I'll do control A and control C and we can put it in a notepad just to see what it looks like. So here is the config that we specified. Let's see if we can do a word wrap where we excluded uh, some not link, exclude publisher and access should be there. Yep, we excluded access as well. It, we wanted this version, 64 bit. We wanted monthly enterprise and um, all the settings we put there show up here. I'll not save this one. So all the settings are here and what was this one here default? Here's a URL. If it goes to this URL, it will download a setup exe file. So we can do that on the other machine. Let's see here. If I paste that in a new tab, the URL that we found there, it's going to start to download a setup exe. I have already downloaded it before, so that's why it says uh, Parentheus 1. And if I would run this one, it will try to install. Um, um, 365 apps and what settings well it takes the settings we saw her saw here earlier and 70 actually means success final status here so if it would be um, 60 that would mean failure I didn't know it was finished do I have a word and everything I do okay it is finished so again, this is not the Win32 app or files we pulled down from Intune. It just changed its registry key, set this here and put our configuration. Then it tells the machine, go here and download the setup.exe. The setup.exe says, okay, but what parameters do I got? Well, it does uh, that are specified here. And then it run and we get the status. So I guess it have not catched up yet that it's finished but sooner or later it's going to say uh, installed. It is installed. Perfect. Even uh, Intune have uh, captured that now. So that was a video about uh, how to package um, Microsoft uh, 365 apps and how it works behind the scene. So again, not the package, it's the registry, it's a CSP that get pushed. Okay, thank you very much.